everyone. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading guys. This may or may not resonate with every Capricorn watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, that information is going to be down below. Okay, Capricorn, let's see. Right now, ego play. Okay, I think there's a lot of ego games going on, mind games going on, a lot of mind fuckery, whatever. Call it whatever you want, okay? But right now, I feel someone's walked away from mind games, okay? There's someone definitely who's dropped their sword and someone's like, you know what? I don't want to be a part of this bullshit and horseshit, okay? It's not worth it. I definitely see someone walking away from mind games. This could be someone who you're dealing with whose ego's always at play always okay they always want to win they could be uh playing mind games like literally like you know trying to block you trying to get you to approach them or you know like again this person is someone you know who's always they always want victory but it's empty victory okay they feel they won but actually they win nothing and this is someone who will win want to win under any cost okay it could be at your cost it could be at your cost of your emotions anything and you probably choose to walk away from this person okay rather than hustle with them anymore okay definitely see you walking away from a situation or from a person whose ego was more um, um ego is completely you know in control of this situation or someone who chose their ego over you Okay, but someone very immature, you could have had serious communication issues with this person, someone who was constantly playing hot and cold with you, or again, someone, you know, who you had serious conflicts with, not on the same page. Uh, in the past year, we had a sun here, so I feel that there could have been some kind of clarity that came in towards you, or you try to see a situation in a more optimistic way, okay? But yeah, the sun is illumination, right? You could have been illuminated to a certain fact, or there was just clarity that came in, okay? right now with the chariot in reverse very obvious right with the five of swords like i said right something's not moving forward um either there's someone here uh, uh no actually i'm not getting that i'm getting someone who is very resistant on moving forward right now okay you can but i mean this is lacking the willingness and determination to move forward okay someone's in two minds right now of whether they want to move this relationship forward or not or whether you they want to move uh, ahead with this person or not okay this is someone who's got very contradictory beliefs right now one second they want to the second second they don't did i say second second they don't okay whatever so yeah someone who's wanting to either make things happen but they're not being able to or someone who feels they have to push the relationship forward and they're like you know what like fuck it i'm not doing that like if i have to force this relationship to move forward it's not worth it but yeah, someone's definitely lacking that drive to make this relationship, you know, <coughs> to get that break breakthrough. You could be living at a distance, okay, like a physical distance from this person and distance could be a big issue between you guys, okay. Maybe someone's wanting to travel towards you or you towards them and that's just not possible because of the situation going on in the world, okay, anything. In the near future, we have the fool in reverse here. So I feel there's something, someone who doesn't want to take a risk. Could be very well with the chariot in reverse here okay that's why things are not moving forward but there's someone here who has huge trust issues huge someone who's gone through hell and back okay could be within this relationship or could be in a past relationship where uh someone really screwed them over okay they could have literally been in love they could have opened up emotionally been vulnerable and this person literally fucked them up okay and now this person is like you know what no this is like a huge risk that i'm not ready to take could be past issues that's affecting your relationship when I say past issues, it doesn't mean past issues that you had with this person. I mean the person that you're dealing with, okay, who's got issues in their past, they haven't healed from their past and they're bringing it to this relationship, okay, which is causing all this conflict. Take it how it resonates, it could be you. What you're doing is the Knight of Wands here, okay? You're wanting to be very, very passionate, but you're rushing in. You're rushing in towards this person. Yeah, you're rushing in towards this person, Knight of Wands. But see... Look, literally, the person that you're rushing towards, right? The person that you're rushing towards, Capricorn, I'm going to read it as you, because that's what I'm going to read this as what you're doing or how you see yourself. You can switch it. But yeah, you're rushing towards this person, but now this person has big trust issues with you. They don't trust you anymore. 
I guess you fucked things up big time in the past, okay? And now they don't want to take things forward or they just don't have the willingness, they, they're lacking that drive to put this, to make, to take things forward. But you're rushing in towards this person. In your environment with the nine of, with the nine of pentacles, this is someone who wants to be single. This is someone who does not want to lose their independence. Someone who's okay on their own. They're okay with a relationship. They're okay without a relationship, okay? But they're absolutely okay on their own, okay? They're enjoying their money. They uh, This could be someone who's got a lot of financial independence, but someone who's got that financial freedom, someone who's a very self-reliant, uh, someone who enjoys their time, takes care of themselves, etc. Chills out with family, etc. Friends, they have a lot of friends. Very likable, but this is someone who likes to be the attention, uh, who likes to be the uh, center of attention. But again, someone who just does not want to lose their independence, okay? They like to be on their own. And could be one of the reasons why you're so attracted to this person, okay? Because you're the Knight of Wands here. However, in your emotions with the Two of Pentacles, okay? Either you're still, you are very, very um, passionate about this person, okay? There's a lot of passion here. Uh, but with the Two of Pentacles, I feel you're trying to balance the situation or you're, again, juggling the idea of approaching this person only because this person is probably someone who does not want to take a risk with you so you're not sure if whether this person is going to accept you or not over the two of pentacles you could be juggling two people doesn't have to be i haven't clarified yet but yeah two of pentacles also is a juggler okay it's also someone who's trying to weigh out the pros and cons about whether you want this or not or even trying to uh, balance a situation out with this person okay but in the likely outcome, we have someone here who's not wanting to open up, not wanting to be emotionally vulnerable, or you could also be dealing with someone who's not in the middle. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups in reverse, okay? Both are non-committal cards. This is someone who's not wanting to open up, not wanting to offer love, someone who offers scraps and an empty cup, okay, they have nothing to offer. And Knight of Wands is also someone who's non-committal, okay, because they don't like to um, be tied down to, okay? They don't like to be tied down to, they're, they're movers, right? They like to travel, they like to hop, skip and jump, okay? They don't stay in one place. So, uh, just once again, just gonna grab some water, just once again. Yeah. All right, let's clarify. What is the five of swords here? Why is this here as the overall energy for Capricorn? We have the five of swords here. Eight of swords in the first C. You're clear. You are very clear about what you want. You could have been very stuck, tied and bound to this person or this situation for a very long time. You could have literally felt like, I can't get out of this. I'm never going to get out of this. But again, it was only till you got out of your head, okay? You came to your senses finally and realized that this was just someone who was just constantly playing mind games or someone even who literally had nothing to offer you, okay? Probably what you were expecting from this person. This person is probably just full of empty promises or someone just, you know, who doesn't live up to what they have to expect, okay? What they have to offer. Could be dealing with someone who's very hot and cold, okay? In and out of your life, hot and cold, night of wands, night of cups in reverse, non-committal, in and out, hot and cold. What is the five of swords? What is the five of swords? What is the five of swords? Yeah. You know more investing into this person or you could be dealing with someone very immature. Someone who is just constantly procrastinating of whether they wanted to um, invest into this relationship or again, page of pentacles in reverse is someone non-committal again. Okay, someone who doesn't have anything to, to offer anything stable. Or this could be, um, no, again, I'm getting this person only. Someone who was constantly procrastinating, someone who made things even more difficult than it seems, or this is just someone who you're dealing with who is extremely manipulative. A lot of manipulative energy, okay? What is the sun here? Why is the sun here in the past? Why is the sun here in the past? Yeah, so see, like I said, right in the past, you were the lovers and the sun here, right? There was something that made you very, very happy, okay? There was this relationship, twin flame connection. You guys could have come into reunion, okay? And that gave you a lot of happiness. You saw this as a reunion. You saw this as something very... Um, abundant you saw a lot of growth expansion with this person okay and again with the lovers here this is someone where the love was mutual right give me one more card the sun what is the sun what is the sun clap 
for the sun. This wanted to come out before also, but with the tower in reverse here. Okay, so I'm getting that there was someone here in the past here who came back towards you, okay? This was a twin, twin flame connection and this person, probably there was a taboo moment between you guys, right? And this person probably came in and they wanted to repair the damages that they made to this relationship, okay? They came in because they wanted to rebuild with you from scratch. And that's the clarity, that's the happiness that you got when this person came in because they were probably stuck on you. They couldn't move forward. <coughs> Or you could have even left a very important lesson with the sun and the tower in reverse here. You almost dodged a bullet. Okay. Anything. What is the chariot in reverse? Why is the chariot in reverse? Why is the chariot in reverse? Four of swords in reverse. Give me one more card. What is the chariot in reverse? Three of swords. You are hot. You are hurt and the situation is driving you nuts. You're hurt about this Capricorn and with the Four of Swords in reverse, you know, you've reached a boiling point. You've reached a point of exhaustion. Your coping strategies with this person or the situation, you're running out of that. You're running out of... Um, you need to take a break, relax and literally in the real sense, you need to take a break from this personal situation, okay? Because it's killing you with the three of swords. You're, you're hurting, you're hurting bad. And that's one of the reasons why you don't want to move forward with this, okay? With this connection, you just don't find the drive to move forward. Again, like I said right before, you don't, you lack the willingness and determination that, okay, you know what, I can take this forward. Or I can overcome any obstacles here. No, because it, it's, it's, you're restless right now, okay? And you're just very hurt about this breakup or separation, whatever you have. Could be that this person involved in a third party doesn't have to be okay. Third party does not always mean a romantic partner. Third party also means they could have given their work priority. They could have given their independence priority. They could have uh, been very, very non-committal. So they were very focused on um, wanting relationships where they wouldn't get attached. Okay, They would always want relationships where they didn't have the fear of being attached to them. Or they always wanted to uh, be with people who were with them on the same page. Um, meaning uh, someone who was just as non-committal as them. Okay, But whatever it was, right? something came in between you or is still coming in between you again and again. And now it's just driving you crazy. <coughs> What is the fool in reverse? What is this in the near future? Ace of Pentacles. What is the fool in reverse? The moment. I think you want a break. You want this new beginning with this person, okay? But you're trying to think a lot about this. Oh, okay, two things. Either there's someone who doesn't want to take a risk with you, okay? They're thinking about taking a risk with you. They're thinking about whether they want to take the sleep of faith with you, okay? Whether how much you are. This is someone who's going to take their time out in the near future. But they definitely are looking at wanting to offer you something stable and committed, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles. They want a brand new beginning with you. But it's almost like before that happens, there's going to be a silent, um, there's going to be the silent treatment or there's going to be a period of no communication between you guys. Okay, because this person is taking time to think with a fool in reverse here and the hermit here. They've completely gone inside their shell and they're trying to do a lot of soul searching, okay? A lot of soul searching. They want to find out all the answers, what, when, where, how, why, before they take the sleep of faith with you. I'm getting someone who's not ready yet. Or you could also be dealing with someone who's a ghoster, okay? They could just keep ghosting you every single time. Shit hits them hard, life hits them hard and they just disappear. And that could be one of the reasons <coughs> uh, why you're fed up. Do you know, I'm getting with the pattern of this person, right? This person could be giving you a lot of mixed signals, okay? Because of their in and out, in and out energy, okay? You could have had a lot of mixed signals. The hermit is also uh, someone that gives other person mixed signals, okay? Because they come, they talk, and then they completely disappear. One minute they talk, and the next two weeks they disappear. Again, they come back, the next two weeks they disappear. And you're like, what the hell is going on, dude? I mean, are you with me or not? Are we doing this or not? Are we dating or not? What is the Knight of Wands? 
<clears throat> See? Yeah. What is the Knight of Wands? Someone not coming on, so I can't pick on you. Are they're coming back in? They're coming back in after they ran away from a probably a conversation about a commitment, after they ghosted you after a conversation about wanting something stable and committed. Okay, they ran away again. I'm not getting a cheater, but I'm definitely getting someone could be okay, but I'm definitely getting someone. Things are okay between you guys, okay, probably there's a lot of love, emotions, passion between you guys. But whenever you want something solid, stable, committed, you want to take things to the next level or high level of commitment, this person just runs away. This is some, you're, you're dealing with an escapist. This is someone very greedy with their energies, okay. They don't want to open up. They don't like to share. They don't like to... This is someone very greedy, again, this is someone who's just me, 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 me. Someone very materialistic that you're dealing with, okay? And they're coming in because they want to talk. They want to talk, Capricorn. They're coming in. They're rushing in. They're definitely thinking about this commitment with you, okay? They are. You're doing your life. <laughs> Fuck no. What is the nine of pentacles? I mean, this could be you, this could be them, okay? Take it out as it, but I'm going to read this as you, Capricorn. You're going towards this person, okay? And the person you're dealing with, okay? Someone's just, I'm okay on my own. I don't need you. What is the nine of pentacles? Someone who does not want to be in this relationship anymore or someone who's just, you know what I'm getting Capricorn? If this is you, you're dealing with someone who's now raised their level of, like someone who's got a lot of barricades, okay? You will really, 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 really have to level up to come to this person's, um, choice or to come um, uh, their choice of partners is going to be it's it's like this person stepped on to the next level okay and they're going to be very choosy and picky i don't think they're going to entertain the knight of wands kind of energy here but yeah what is that <coughs> this person wants to take an honest approach towards you they could have been gone non-committal in the past okay but they're coming in what is the nine of pentacles What of wants in reverse because this person doesn't see a stability or uh, uh, there's a lot of disharmony within the connection or this is just someone who shut the door or slammed the door on your face. What is the nine of pentacles? <clears throat> yeah, this person is someone who's released you, okay? They've shut the door on your face, Capricorn. If this is not you, this is them. <clears throat> if this is not them, then this is you. Ten of Wands in reverse with a four of Wands in reverse. Okay, this is someone who's who feels that they have not been supported enough to carry the load or the burden of this relationship. This is someone who feels that they they've been carrying the in, the entire load of this relationship on their shoulders, and now they're releasing it because it's a very overwhelming situation for them. It's a very draining energy. They're releasing the burden. They're laying off the situation under the four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I think they're shutting the door on their on your face. They're no longer wanting this commitment. They're ending this long-term commitment. Even if you guys were not in a commitment, this was as good as a commitment and they're shutting their door. They want to be on their own. They don't want you. Sorry, that was a little... I, mean, I just feel they're not going to entertain you. Sorry, that feels better. What is the Two of Pentacles? Okay, I'm getting with the Knight of Wands and Two of Pentacles. I think you're juggling. You're... I'm getting... You're contemplating of how to move towards this person. Because you definitely want to. What is the nine two of pentacles? Six of wands in reverse. Because things were because this person could be making you feel very neglected. What is the six or two of pentacles? Four of pentacles in reverse. Magician in reverse. You're lacking the confidence. See, six of wands in reverse, four of pentacles in reverse. That's why you're going back and forth with this decision. Look, these are all reversal cards, okay? <laughs> and all this, I mean, look, I'm getting... Maybe you're trying to open up to this person finally, wanting to see this in a different light, okay? Wanting to open up emotionally. You're not in a state of shutdown anymore. You're okay being vulnerable, okay? You're ready to slowly, slowly... Um, 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 give this person some of your uh, energy etc okay but with the magician in reverse and six of wands in reverse okay there can be success with this person but you're doubting yourself that's a lot of self-doubt 
you have everything that it takes but you're not using your skills and ab abilities to the optimum level to make shit happen you're wanting to open up for sure okay maybe you were shut down with this person for a very long time you were not ready to express yourself okay i'm not ready to let this person in okay but now you're no longer blocking your heart chakra you're ready to open up you're ready to be vulnerable you don't more have trust issues with this person but you're constantly juggling your reason for being back and forth is because you don't know if this person is going to either accept you back a eh? or this person i mean you just don't know if there's going to be forward moment because this could have been something that was a big fat disappointment in the past or because you were not being able to offer this person high levels of commitment or uh because uh there was there's a lot of self-doubt again magician in reverse six of wands in reverse you probably don't feel supported enough Yeah, and probably again, you're feeling neglected also, I can say that, right? You're feeling very neglected by this person, okay? And that's why you're not sure if things can happen. That's why you're not sure. Again, you could be fearing rejection, Capricorn. Could be, okay? Um, What is the Knight of Cups in reverse? Why is this the likely outcome? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's very focused on their career, their work, their goals. First, we have the king of pentacles in reverse and the queen of pentacles in reverse first of all it's a true pair situation second of all i am getting capricorn earlier probably you were the one who was being very greedy with your energy now you're dealing with someone i mean i'm getting the tables have turned now you probably want to open up towards them you want to make things happen but now this person is shut down they're very focused on their career and their goals i'm literally getting someone who's focused on everything else but this relationship or but you what is the knight of cups in reverse why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? Knight of Wands in reverse. Probably because you're coming off as someone very, very unreliable and insincere and, un and not genuine. That's why there's a lack of forward moment here. I'm not seeing this as a person. I'm seeing this as a situation. Now this person is very focused on everything else. I don't think there is a second chance coming up here. But that's why things are not moving forward. You may come in with the Knight of Wands here, but I don't think this person is going to make things... You know, I'm literally getting this person can do things to move things forward, but they're choosing not to. They're choosing not to. Because there's a lot of disappointment that this person has gone through with you or you could have gone through with them. Knight of Cups in Reverse is also a lot of disappointment. So yeah, there could have been a lot of failure. I mean, there could have been failure between you guys. Okay, things just didn't... Um, lift up or um, just one second again or this could just be someone you know that you were dealing with who was again constantly changing their feelings okay one second they love you the second second they don't why do I keep saying second second and the second time they don't okay and now I think they're fed up of it this person's just not wanting to move towards you okay even if you are i don't think they're going to be very keen on it okay because they're very focused on their goals could be dealing with a very passive aggressive partner okay could be but yeah that's what i have for you capricorn good luck uh, i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye, bye, -bye.